Oakland Indians in 2017. They had won the 20 plus games I would, in a I row. Mean, I mean, if I really was being honest with myself, yes. Okay. Yes. So let me get this straight. I just want to be on the record now. Every single person at this radio station has picked the New York Yankees. It's about all about the homerific. So I'll be your huckleberry. Cleveland in four games. They steal tonight. The Yankees went on Friday, and Cleveland takes care of business in game three and game four, and they do it with great pitching. That's how they do it. They win a lot of low, close scoring, uh, low scoring games, and so I'm the one guy at this radio station with the Cleveland in four. That, Sorry, that's just had to be that guy. That's that fan bitterness because I picked the Padres over the Mets, yeah. and I respect it. Someone's got to say it, and now that you have to own it, as you will. I own it, so no problem at all. But that's Met fan bitterness. So if you're a Met fan, that's why he's the Pied Piper of the Mets. Because he did what the Met fans wanted him to do. You pick against the Yankees because it'll piss you off if the Yankees advance to the ALCS. <laughs> it will. And by the way, I get it and I respect it. <laughs> Look, our, our radio station has to show some responsibility. I agree. We cannot just all sit here. Right. Like you better pick it against some next series, but I get it. I respect it. I disagree, and I'll tell you why. Go ahead. And I've said this to you, all jokes aside. Yeah. This layoff worries me for everybody. And to be fair, the other teams that the long lay have all lost. Yeah, so far. Well, the and Houston, that yeah, doesn't right. mean the series is over. It doesn't mean anything. But it worries me because we've never seen it before. And we have seen long layoffs affect teams in the past, whether it was the Mets in 2015 or the Rockies in 2007. It's happened. So there is a part of me, because we're seeing it for the first time, that has worry for the Dodgers, for the Braves, for the Astros, for the Yankees. So far, we've seen it with half the teams. So, and, and here's the other thing, uh, to be fair. Yep. We spent a big part of this season, not me as a Met fan, but you as a Yankee fan, criticizing this team. Let's not act like the Yankees were a flawless team all year long. They weren't. They haven't been talked about a lot the last few weeks because they ran away with the division. The Mets became more of the story. But let's not act like the Yankees danced into the postseason as a flawless team. They were a bully offense most of the year. I agree. Garrett Cole's been disappointing. Now, and their bullpen is filled with question marks. It did seem like the last few weeks they kind of rediscovered themselves offensively a bit. But you're right. They went a full month and a half where they were listless, no offense, and played very bad baseball. Now, I was just watching the Nick Gregory weather report on Channel 5, mm -hmm. and he confirmed what our own Vincent Von Vincent said. It is a rain out, and the rain will continue all night Thursday into early Friday morning. Dumb question. Go. Dumb question. Would major, call Major League Baseball. Would Major League Baseball, knowing the weather looks so bad, move the game up to tomorrow? I think that's more of a network question, right? Wouldn't it be? I don't know. That's Major League Baseball. You have I mean... <laughs> I don't think so, Evan. Okay. I don't think you can move a game up. I think you can only move it back. Okay. Yeah, I, I think, think that's part of the deal. Because of the weirdness of the off day in between home games and the weather being so obviously bad in two days. And by the way, Big Mac, I don't know if it's gone through your brain cells yet. This would be great for the Yankees. If they, out, if they move it if back, they move the game up. from a relief pitching if they standpoint, the game up. if they move the game oh, up, you know, then, from a relief then, pitching what? standpoint, go yeah. ahead, Big Mac. He got it now. Go ahead. Because then the first two starters would be able to pitch four and five. On regular so, rest. On regular rest. Because so you could throw Cole game four and Cortez game four. Let me walk you through. You could have a legitimate three I don't think they're rotation. allowed to move it up right here. Play Let me walk you through the scenario right now that exists because I don't know if we're figuring it out yet. Garrett Cole's pitching game one, okay. Pardon me for which one second. The other reason you can't move it up is you can't rain it out tomorrow. Yeah, in theory, yeah, you'd be in right. theory raining a game out 48 hours, right? right? I get it. Good. But just, this is the way the series is folding right now. Garrett Cole's pitching game one. Nestor Cortez is pitching game two. Luis Severino's pitching game three. Okay. Garrett Cole, because of the off days, would be on regular rest to pitch game four. I firmly believe Boone's pitching him in game four no matter what. They're up 2-1. They're down 2-1. Cole pitches, which gets you to game five. Who is starting game five? For it to be Nestor Cortez, it would have to be on short rest, something he's never done. So I guess I'll just ask you. I just gave you the facts. It's all laid out. Who's the Yankees game five starter? Great. I don't know the answer. Now, Aaron Boone said earlier what today. Is it, Aaron Boone said earlier today, we are using three starters in this series, which leads me to believe it would be Nestor Cortez on short rest, rest. Okay. with Tyone and Herman kind of following him up. Ready to rock. Almost like Cortez could be an opener. So that's the Yankees. By the way, and, conver sure. and conversely, if it gets rained out and they pitch Friday, there goes Cortez. That's gone. He can't even pitch on short rest. He can pitch on two, two days, days rest. rest. So yeah. moving up there would go Herman. Yeah, no, yeah, you can't, you can't start, you can't start Cortez on two days rest. No, no, I get it, I get it. So
So the, the rainout's got a major impact. The rainout, the rainout's well, always have a, a big impact on a postseason series because the reason I gave because of the off days and rest and what can and Patrick based go. Based on what I just saw on TV and our own Vincent Von Vincent said, it's not even like you can sit around and wait and oh, from nine to twelve, it's not going to rain at all. You can get a game in. It's not going to stop raining right. until the wee hours. And the negative effect morning. of this the series being moved back a day is it really. Well, there you go. Driving and the news. Baseball edition with WFAN talking Yankees and Mets. I am a Mets fan, but I do not hate the Yankees. And I do want them to win. I'm just not invested emotionally into them. So if they don't win, it's to me, it's not going to be a, a stress thing. So I will be enjoying the playoffs. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this special edition of Driving in the News.